Let me do the first row prayer that we can do without an example. These are six questions I'm going to do, so well, I'll do them quite slowly, so see, can you do them faster than me? The first two are very similar to the ones we just did, so let me just find the common denominator. So that's the first question. X over 12 plus X minus one all over four. Uh, I see a common denominator here between 12 and four of 12. Because 12 is into 12. Multiply this by three. So uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna put it all over 12 because it's essentially gonna be all over 12 anyway. So I might as well just write it all over 12. Instead of having separate fractions. This x is fine. This needs to be multiplied by 3. If you want, you can put in that as a step. Maybe we'll do that. Multiplying both those by 3. Or you can just jump straight to. But make sure you've multiplied both terms by 3. Still over 12. Now I can combine some like terms on top of the fraction here. X plus 3x means it's 4x's minus 3 over 12. Is it okay to cancel out the 4 and maybe 4 from the, the 12? So it's 12 is 4 times 3. Can you do that? No? Not. Remember, if you're canceling out that, it has to be a factor of both. You only cancel out factors, otherwise it doesn't work. You just can't cancel out from a bit of it. Okay, so that's the answer to the first one. Second one, hopefully uh, you can... Did anyone finish the second one? Yes. Do you, you? Okay, that's the X plus two over seven. Get rid of this one. All right. Common denominator of shield. Okay. okay. Uh, so this has to be multiplied by seven. That has to be multiplied by three. This multiplied by seven. And this multiplied by three. I wish you so far. I'm going to write it all over 21. I'm going to do the same step as I did the last time, the kind of slower step. Now I'm going to multiply by 7, so 7x minus 7, minus 3x, oh, minus 6. Because that minus 3 applies to both, and see some people rub out the plus 6 that they wrote. Still over 21. Like term, like term, 7 of them, take away 3 of them, I'm left with 4. Negative 7, take away another 6, I'm left with negative 13 over 21. That is the answer. The second one. Anyone get that? Just show of hands. Nobody. Oh, three, four. Nice. All right. That's very similar. Just that is the next step of the ones you just did. These. Not quite as similar. I'll do the first one. 2 over x plus 1 over x plus 2. What would be the common denominator here? Anyone want to suggest? Thank you. Kanya, what's the common denominator? Plus 2. x plus 2. Yeah. Okay. Sam, do you disagree? No, solid. Okay. Let's suppose X is the number three. Is the common denominator of those two five? No. 
3 plus 2 is 5. Common denominator is 15. Let's leave it back as 3 plus 2. So looking at this, how do we get the common denominator of these two? X squared plus 2x. It's these two multiplied together. It's 3 times to 5 as we both of these contain. We don't know what x is, but we can still multiply these together. x times x, so we can write it like this and tidy it up on the next line. That times that is the common denominator. Which means that this has been multiplied by x plus 2, so the top needs to be multiplied by x plus 2. Multiply the bottom by something, multiply the top. This has been multiplied by x, so this must be multiplied by x. Mm -hmm. It's the same process, it just has more difficult, it just says algebra instead of just straight up numbers. Two times that, I'll write it in. Plus one times x, okay, I'm not gonna write one times x. You can, if you feel like you can skip this step, skip this step, it's okay. I'm just going to multiply out the brackets. I'm not looking for an answer for x, it's just writing as a single fraction, right? It's simplify as much as possible. So I'll have x is in my answer. 2 times x, 2 times 2, plus x. Multiply that out if I want. x squared plus 2x, as Sam said. Right back. Like terms, 2x and x means 3x is there all over x squared plus 2x. That is a single fraction. Okay. See, can you do part B before me? Remember the process was, if there's x's involved, perhaps the easiest thing to do is just multiply that by that to get the common denominator. Sam? On part B, you need to make oil Yes. Yeah. I'll write the question anyway. Hopefully, you're swiftly writing the answer. Shane, you've formulated your answer fully. You don't know, you're not even going to bother picking up your pen and giving it a go or taking a note on it or anything. My goodness. And Vanessa, did you get something? Yeah. So my suggestion was to say that this times this is the common denominator. I'll go with that. Which means that I've kind of done a cross multiplication at the top, same as this one. This now needs to multiply by the 5. Minus 1 times, which is just minus x plus 2 on the other side. So it's like a, this is multiplied by that, and that's because when you do that common denominator, that happens. I'm okay if you leave the denominator like that or multiply it out. We'll multiply it out, but um, most times leaving like that is okay, but we'll do it. Uh, so x times x gives x squared. So this is like opposite of factorizing. You're putting it back together. I know the last term is going to be minus 2 anyway. Middle term, I think it's plus x minus 2. So maybe you're able to do that. Maybe top is going to be 5x minus 5 minus x minus 2. That minus that is 4x's minus 5 minus 2 is 7x squared plus x minus 2. That's my answer. Okay, I got the plus x by just doing uh, plus 2x is here and minus 1x there. That gives the plus x. Remember, the limit is down to the Wondering where that came from. All right, now we just have the last sentence. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yuck. So it's a bug back to multiplication. First step, Jack, what will you do? So you're gonna do that times that and that times that. Yep. Yeah. Let's put that in brackets so I make sure I multiply everything by everything else. That is okay. X cubed plus x squared plus two x squared plus two x. That's everything multiplied by everything in the top line. Uh, and the uh, multiply everything by two x squared here. That's two x to the four plus six x to the three plus four x squared. Okay. Oh, I can. I can. I'm just gonna rewrite this as three x, three x squared. Because just put those two together. What next, Jeff? I don't really understand how to do this. Oh, you told me to multiply uh, that for that. No. The last numerator, x squared goes to x. Yes. Multiply that by, I wrote that in brackets, and then bracket x squared and x plus 1. Yeah, so that's this times this. Yeah, that's I I, I simplified it. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You could, but it hasn't really uh, simplified. It looked uh, even more complicated. Added in actually x to the power four and stuff like that. Gib. Yeah. What we've been doing all along with this multiplying and dividing type, factorize it. Well, let's. I can factorize this bit of it. X outside and x plus two, that's multiplied by x plus one, so I can just shove it together like that, that's multiplication. That's the top line, fully factorized. So I'm trying to reduce the x powers, trying to get it down. This one is a quadratic. Uh, two and one makes the two, and I think both positive. Oh, look what's happening. And we've also got a two x squared at the end. Multiply. Now these are factors. This is that multiplied by that multiplied by that. So there's no uh, there's no adding or subtracting in between the things that are multiplying. So it's just that. Now it can cancel with that. No problem. It is a factor top and bottom. This is a factor of top and bottom. Uh, and if you want, you can say, okay, that's left with an x on top and over 2x squared, but that can even be simplified a little bit more, can't it? x fits into that once, so I'm left with 1, and x fits into the squared x times, so we're left with 1 over 2x, Now that is simplified. Yeah, so we simplify it like we'll do like that. Yeah, the, the, the test will actually did fully simplify. If you don't fully simplify, you don't get fully. Uh, yeah, so that is it fully simplified. So, um, yeah, all right, try the last one. So, I'll write it up here for those who can't see it that well. X. So division.
we have to be able to factorize quadratics both types here. Um, yeah, it's not division, it's not multiplication, so I'll change it to multiplication as I factorize. This first fraction, factorize here, x x numbers the multiplies give four one and four two and two two and two are never going to add or subtract you three so one and four is what i'm thinking and i want the uh four to win the battle it's minus four plus one to make a minus three so that's it factorize bottom here you can factorize x out and x plus one is remaining that is multiplied by uh, this one flipped. So as I flip it, I'm going to factorize it. So I flip that. That's now that comes the numerator. This x times x gives the x squared. Something needs to multiply to give 12. 12 times 1 will never give 1 in the middle, add or subtract. 6 times 2 is the same. I need 4 times 3 because that would subtract to give minus 1. Right? So, really, if it's multiplication, these can all be shoved together already because they're multiplied. Just put that in brackets just to signify they're all multiplied. And then whatever cancels on top, they're the same. There's an x plus 1 and an x plus 1. It's an x minus 4 and an x minus 4. It's an x and an x. And that's it for the multiplication. So we are left with x minus 1 in the numerator and x plus 3 in the denominator. Yeah. All right, so we 